What's up, peeps? Thanks for joining me. My name is Damon Warren, and this is Day One Adventures. Today's adventure, we are at Longwood Gardens. A couple things going on at Longwood Gardens. They got the reimagined part that is now open. That's been open for maybe a month or so. And also we have Christmas. So they got the Christmas lights. This is the first weekend of it. So we're gonna go check it out. So we got a lot of stuff to see today. So we're starting out early. I would definitely say one of my first tips is get your tickets early and get here early. I, I would almost say get here before you think you wanna get here because there is definitely full parking. A lot is going on this year, so I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on. And I will give you a couple other tips on how to maximize your visit to Longwood Gardens this year. So if you have a handicap tag or somebody with uh, walking issues, they do have a handicap section there. You can also drive up to the front, drop them off, and then go around for parking, so they do have a drop-off area and plenty of handicapped parking. All right, so here are the carts. If you need a cart, there is a video that you need to watch in order to get the carts. They are on first come, first serve. Scooters are based on a pay as, as you want. So, you know, first come, first serve. In this main lobby is where a lot of people will meet up and congregate. Now, even though it looks like it's a long line, it moves pretty fast and there's also pockets because you will have the restrooms as soon as you come in. Also, when you come in, if you go to the right, there's another set of restrooms. So you don't have to go to the ones right when you walk in. So let me get ready to scan in and then we'll proceed. All right, so when you first come in, you can grab one of these, right? One of these. This gives you the calendar, everything that's going on, all the activities, there's a map and everything. And one of the things I definitely suggest, take a picture of the map with your phone because this place is huge and when it gets dark, it is harder to find out where everything is. So take a picture, grab one of these, and you're good to go. But there's plenty of nice people around that can always help you. They're wearing the green jackets. Yeah, and see, like little direction guides and everything. And it's the entrance right there. Once again, it is a nice, beautiful day. Oh, looks like they changed that up this year. I want to hit the reimagined area over there before it gets dark. That is the new area that they have over there. So we're going to take a look at that. I'm excited to see that. Sunset is about 4.30-ish today. So we got about two hours before the sun goes down. But you can see the lights. They turn on the lights about 1 o'clock. So one of the other tips I would say, uh, if you're bringing a stroller, you're in good luck because you can pack stuff on a stroller. I use a backpack. They also have a couple of water things. So I got brought my water bottle. They, are, they do have the restaurants and everything here. But if you, 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 know, you want to save a couple bucks and stay hydrated because there's a lot of walking, bring a water bottle. This one I actually got from the dollar store. So for $1.25, I really don't have to worry about it too much. It's BPA free, so I can dishwash it if I want to use it again. But this is a good option so you don't have to worry about losing the bottle and um, you got something with you. Also, if you're going to get here early, I highly suggest layering. Layer your clothes, right? You can always take off something, you know, once you get through and get in. But definitely layer your clothing then that way because there are some things that are inside. So when you go inside, you can take off a layer, sit down, and you, you don't feel like you're overheated. So layer your clothing, gloves, wear some gloves. Not all of it is outside, not all of it's inside. Okay, let's take a look at this photography policy here. Welcome photos, Cap remember are welcome. Professional and amateur photo shoots are not permitted at the gardens. Tripods, monopods, and easels are permitted in our outdoor garden for floral, landscape, and architectural photos only. So the tripods, monopods, and all that stuff outside, not inside. Scan the QR code, learn more about it. So there's a shot of the QR code. Okay, all right. 
Now the thing is, if if you came here last year and you're coming this year, it's the same but different because they switch it up. So um, I actually look and see what the theme is this year, but they usually will do a theme. So as you can see, people taking off the layers. When you come in into this conservatory, because of course it's made for, uh, what's the word? Warmer climate pl plants and everything. So it is quite warm in here. It is toasty. So there we go. And there's plenty of little seats. You can just sit back and relax, take it easy, take in the music and the sights and sounds of the season. That's the community tree room. Those are different trees set up by different groups celebrating. If I could only tell you what the smell is like, I have, I don't really have any words to describe what's, what smell is in here, but it is beginning to smell a lot like Christmas, let's call it that. But the aromatics are quite refreshing. So this is definitely not the place to go if you're in a rush. If you wanna get through it fast, impossible. If you are going to try to get everything in in one trip, I doubt it highly. There is a lot to see. So here we have the new conservatory. How beautiful is this, right? Let's uh, let's take a walk around it outside, around the perimeter, All right? So you can see how beautiful and tranquil this is. Really nice of this. I mean, the trees back there still have some color. One of my favorite places to just go and chill. You know what I'm saying? Now, if anybody's wondering, I am using the Yasmo Pocket 3 to shoot this. No filters, I'm just running in auto. And just nothing really special, just taking my time and walking. And we have this bonsai courtyard. I believe this is the same bonsai courtyard that got moved. So they relocated it, let's say. So we got some bonsai.
people with the blue lights, they're for help. So if you see a blue light, kind of like a guest service. Yeah, I was here Friday. I was too. I know. Hello. Hi there. I have a question. Yeah. Where's the nearest restroom? Right here. This right there. Right here. These are restrooms here. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, found ourselves a restroom. So if you get lost here or anything, you need questions answered, look for the people with the blue lights. They'll help you out a lot. So the bathrooms are unisex singles. Uh, they are very clean. There are plenty of bathrooms, restrooms. So there you go. I mean, that's, that's pretty clean. And this is the one over near the new section. All right, so this is one of the bathrooms areas near the new conservatory. Look at that color over there. I hope this is picking up the color. Look at that color. You got the color from the lights and then the sunset. Isn't that amazing? So outside this one restroom, that's where you got your fill-up stations. So if you're feeling dehydrated from all the walking and everything, you got these fill-up stations right there. They're at most of the uh, restrooms. Uh, okay. It's a nice clear night. Look at this. We're going to do a little walking outside. Tonight, we're walking outside. We might get some inside stuff, but I want to definitely make sure I get some of the outside stuff tonight. Got a nice clear night here. Nice little hack is that near if you get a little cold, if you go you see one of these uh carp machines or whatever where they got the hot chocolate and the coffee and all that, there's heating lamps near them. So if you're outside and you get a little cold, you can go find one of those. Hey, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Really do appreciate it and it helps out the channel a lot. I have the full video of my walk around at night on my other channel. I'll put the link in the description and also up on the screen. And until next adventure, remember, take care of each other. Peace out and I will see you all soon.